Hello on everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day. I want to talk to you guys. Um, I think we need to talk about this FedNow um, payment solutions, guys. I am on the FedNow's Federal Reserve uh, webpage, which is FedNow.org. Um, and we're going to kind of go ahead and look at some things and talk about some things when it comes to FedNow, guys. I think FedNow, um, when, it first, when they first um, started to talk about it, you know, I was thinking to myself, why would they do this? This doesn't make sense. This is um, crypt they're doing what cryptocurrency already does. You know, why why recreate something that's already here? Um, and then the more and more I looked into it, the more and more I'm like, you know what? They're working directly with the banking industry um, and suppliers and end users. So I look at this uh, a lot like I look at uh, Cash App, uh, Venmo, Zelle um paypal things like that uh where you can do some banking a lot of banking um off hours um so i think that this is actually i'm starting to change my opinion on this i think that this is actually a good thing and i think it's a good thing for cryptocurrency as well and and i'll tell you guys why in a minute i want to show you guys this video um that the fed now put together um i i think it's I think it's uh, a decent video. I think it kind of explains it the best that they can. And it gives a lot of insight and detail into what they're trying to do. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to watch this short video and then I'll come back and give you guys my take on this video and why I think that this is a, actually helps cryptocurrency. In today's fast paced world, time is money. More people, businesses, and organizations are demanding instant payments. That's why the Federal Reserve is developing the FedNow Service, a safe and efficient instant payments infrastructure that will modernize the U.S. payment system. The FedNow Service will give financial institutions the opportunity to innovate, enabling their customers to send and receive money in seconds, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Funds will settle between financial institutions in real time, which means there's no buildup of interbank obligations, and end users will have access to the funds in seconds. How will the FedNow service work? Imagine the owner of a coffee shop is running low on coffee beans and needs to schedule a quick delivery. She places an order, and the coffee bean company sends her a request for payment. She responds to the request for payment and pays for the coffee beans right then and there through an app from her credit union, which uses the FedNow service. Once she initiates the payment, her credit union screens the payment and sends an ISO 20022 compliant payment message, either directly or through a service provider to the FedNow service over the Federal Reserve's FedLine network. The FedNow service instantly validates the payment message and passes it along to the Coffee Bean Supplier's Bank. In real time, the Supplier's Bank confirms to the FedNow service that it intends to accept the payment, and the FedNow service debits and credits the master accounts of both the shop owners and the coffee bean suppliers' financial institutions or the master accounts of their correspondents. The FedNow service also immediately sends a payment message with an advice of credit to the supplier's bank and notifies the shop owner's credit union that settlement is complete. Finally, the supplier's bank credits the supplier's account in near real time, making the funds available. The supplier's bank will have the option of sending a confirmation to the shop owner's credit union that the payment has been posted to the supplier's account, providing the coffee shop owner with certainty that the payment was received. The FedNow service will be designed to be flexible and support a broad range of potential use cases. Banks, credit unions, and other industry providers can use it as a springboard for innovation to support a range of applications such as account-to-account -account transfers and bill pay. For example, now imagine it's after hours and the shop owner gets a reminder that her car insurance bill is due today. She may be able to avoid a late fee by initiating a bill payment in her credit union app and selecting to pay it now. Later, she repays a friend for a pizza they shared using an app provided by her credit union that clears and settles through the FedNow service. With this service, banks and credit unions can remain competitive by offering the type of payment options customers increasingly expect in today's fast-paced world. The FedNow service will support flexible adoption, allowing financial institutions the option to work with aggregators, processors, and correspondents to adopt the service. Banks and credit unions will also have the option to adopt the full set of FedNow capabilities or sign on as a receive-only participant. The initial launch of the FedNow service will focus on core clearing and settlement capabilities. Additional features will be released in phases 
to meet evolving industry demands and changes in technology. Get ready for the FedNow service. Learn more at FedNow.org. So there we have it, guys. That is the uh, FedNow's overview of what their system is. And I think it's actually a pretty unique system. Um, I think it's going to help cryptocurrency because they specifically um, talk about working with the actual uh, ISO 222 compliant um, tokens, which is going to actually help um, the ISO, ISO coins actually grow in popularity and grow in use case and grow in transactions as well. Um, and one of the big ones I think that's going to play a key role in this is quant um, because we, we can go to um let's see here where is that um let's see here we'll go to let me share my screen in a different way but i think quant's really going to benefit off of this um i think quant is going to be able to um uh, Quant and a couple other ISO 2022 tokens, I think, will um, will really will really benefit from this um, due to the fact that they're already ISO compliant. They're already working with the governments. They're already they already have use case um, with with them. So, um, and when we come over here and we look, there's a um, there's a uh, a showcase uh, a service showcase, um, and there's 102 providers in here that has been approved by fed now obviously the federal reserve to participate in this system right a lot of them are payment processors um a lot of them or our banks um and some of them are blockchains one and some of them are actually blockchains that are not in cryptocurrency they're actually blockchains that don't have a token attached to them which is actually unique well it's not really unique but it, it just goes to show you that blockchain is bigger than cryptocurrency but um uh, one of the things uh that about the fed now system where i think that quant will thrive in the system is the interoperability um not all of the people that are participating in the fed now system as far as banks um shops uh people um in, in anybody right is going to utilize the same blockchain. So you are going to need a lot of interoperability uh, features built into this FedNow system. Well, who's in prime position um, to make to allow all these blockchains to talk to each other? It's Quant. Um, Quant is the leader in interoperability. They're the leader in connecting these blockchains, blockchains together, guys. So, you know, don't make no mistake, Quant will play a role in this, but I believe all of the ISO uh, 222 tokens will play a role in this. Um, they specifically mention utilizing the ISO 222 system to help them pull this off, which is, you know, basically a cryptocurrency system, guys. So, you know, this is going to benefit cryptocurrency. It's going to benefit the, the adoption of cryptocurrency. It's going to it's going to help. I it's going to help. Um, solidify solidify blockchain into the environment of everybody in all businesses to be able to utilize it um you can utilize blockchain technology like hbar and you know you know any iso blockchain behind the scenes and people don't even realize that they're utilizing cryptocurrency and this is what you want this is what you this is what the the industry needs is um uh, it is really um, blockchain development and blockchain technology where people don't even really know that they're using blockchain. And Fed now is going to give that to us. It's um, it's really uh, the more and more I dig in, the more and more I'm really thinking that this is good for the banking industry. Why does it need to be backed up by the feds? Well, we're dealing with people's money and we're dealing with the banks. Um, so it, it does need to run through the feds. There needs to be some oversight there. There needs to be some protection for the people there. So, um, you know, much like these banks collapse now, you know, the feds really battling them out and protecting and protecting the um, depositors. So, you know, this this because it does deal with banks and it does deal with financial transactions from the banks. You know, it makes sense that the federal government would be overseeing this. But 
you know, don't get lost in that and, and miss the fact that, you know, they're talking ISO 222 compliant um, services here. So uh, think about all your ISO coins and how they could play a role into Fed now that you own and you can see the you can see the upside here, guys. So for cryptocurrency. So that's my take on the Fed now system. Um, I will um, I'll probably do a couple more videos on Fed now as they get closer and closer to July's um, rollout and, and just, you know, kind of do a little bit more deep dive as well. But from a thousand foot overview, guys, this is I believe the more and more I'm reading about this, the more and more I believe that this is actually a good thing, guys. Um, for blockchain development in general. So with that, um, I'm not opposed to Fed now. I actually think that it pushes the industry forward. And um, right now, from everything I can see, not too bad. Um, and the fact that they put ISO 222 in there is even better. Um, that's great. So uh, go ahead, like this video, um, share it out. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, guys. It's free. It's free for you. It means a lot for me. I appreciate your guys' time. Um, appreciate you guys watching the video and uh, hit you up on the next one.